Here we are at the SKIES website. Most teachers and students use the red Continue with Google button to log in. A pop-up should appear. If a pop-up doesn't appear, check the address bar for a lock icon to see if you can allow pop-ups. If you'd like us to be added to your Clever, please contact us. If you can't continue with Google, you can manually sign up, enter your first last name email address, and click the Send Email with Registration. After clicking I understand, you should be able to open your email and find an email with a Continue Registration button. The first time you're entering Skies, you can choose your username. Now let's get started with our courses. Let's say I'm going to make one course for elementary students. All you need is a title. You'll notice that if you're licensed, your school appears automatically in the organization and you'll notice the name of your school and license at the very bottom. In this case, we're not licensed. You don't have to change anything else. Just press save. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a second example, which would be for a class that had sections or periods, middle, mostly middle school or high school. So for every class or period, you can just choose add another class and give it a name. You can use any naming uh, scheme you like and, and just add another class for every class or period. And if you add too many, just press the yellow uh, minus box. Let's start with our elementary class. When you click on my class, you'll be taken into your course and you can start making new lessons. In Skies, lessons are like folders because they can have sub-lessons. And if you want them to follow a particular order, you either need to alphabetize or number them. Notice how I'm clicking Make New Lesson near the top to make another lesson or folder. I'm going to make three folders for my subjects. Then I can click on those lessons or folders and make sub-lessons or the lessons inside. Again, you want to stick to a consistent numbering scheme so they'll follow the order you want. Skies will try to alphabetize them. Here I'm going to make a second lesson inside my math folder. Notice at the top there's a directory so you can move up to math or up to the course and when you're at the very top level you'll see courses at the top where you can go back to your courses and you'll probably only have one course unless you have multiple preps. Don't be worried if you accidentally put a sub-lesson in the wrong place. The Organize Lessons button at the bottom will allow you to easily move things, and we'll review this in one of the later tutorials on archiving courses. Now let's look at our middle school, high school example that has rosters. It doesn't matter which one of the sections we choose because the lesson will be shared between all of the sections, and the student work will also be organized in its respective class. In this case, I'm going to organize by units. After I make a couple units, I can start making the lessons inside. Skies allows you to lesson prep, so if you haven't gotten to unit 3 yet, for example, just press the pencil and under access control you can uncheck students can view. This will make the lesson hidden and it will be labeled hidden Say we're done with Unit 1, you can also change it so students can no longer post. That way they can still review work. The last option allows students to make sub-lessons. Usually students can't make sub-lessons, but this is great for presentations. If you check this box, students will now see this ability to make a sub-lesson, and students could make their own lesson, which works great for presentations. For the first time, they'll see all these options. Notice that as a teacher, not as a student, you'll be able to switch between your various periods. When you do that, don't be alarmed when the work disappears. It's just being organized in that section.